testing. Welcome Roosevelt family, friends, students, and staff to our centennial graduation ceremony. Please be seated. We would like to show our respect and acknowledge the Puget Sound Coast Salish peoples past and present on whose land we gather today. We would like to begin today by introducing ourselves. I'm Bailey Port. I'm Gabrielle Smith. I'm Eden Svetkov. And I'm Steffi Young. And we are your 2023 senior class officers. We have been honored to serve as your class officers this year, and we are very grateful for all the time all of us have spent together. We are so excited to be here with you today to celebrate and honor our graduating class of 2023. As we look forward, we know all of you are headed off to do amazing things. We hope you can look back on our time together and carry the lessons learned at Roosevelt into your futures. Over the past four years, our class has endured many challenges and struggles, and this day is a time to celebrate all we have overcome and accomplished in our past four years together as the class of 2023. We would like to recognize our student body executive board. Please give a round of applause for President Britta Rindall, Vice President Avery Bloom, Secretary Kira Lease, and Treasurer Zoe Millard. This year, they have worked so hard and have been great leaders to our school, helping to bring the Roosevelt community together. We would also like to give a huge thank you to all of our teachers and staff. Please give them a warm round of applause. Without the help of these educators, we would not be here today, and we would like to recognize them for all of the care and dedication they have brought to our class. We would also like to thank our family and friends for supporting us on our journey these past four years. Please look into the crowd and give a round of applause to thank your supporters here today. Without further ado, please welcome the Roosevelt Brass Quintet, Quintet made up of seniors Nick Chang, Nico Garcia Bonpadre, Eli D'Amico, Lucas Struber, and CJ Polachek for their performance of the Star Spangled Banner.
was beautiful. Next, please welcome our poet laureate, Nyangan Thakok. She will be performing a piece of spoken word which she wrote to commemorate the class of 2023. We waited every year for the last day of school. This time, the last day of school brings high school to an end and makes it a memory. We made it through our classes. We made it through our friendships, finally enjoying senior sunrise and prom, just like the seniors before us. High school is something we all looked forward to, now a memory, but truly an experience. We are the Roosevelt, the class of 23. We remember our freshman year, so excited about our time off from school. We ended up grieving for that time back. Sophomore year was a blur. As juniors, we felt like freshmen once again. And suddenly, we're seniors and now graduating. What Roosevelt has given us has truly been an experience. We had almost as many principals as we attended our four years teachers leaving, but in the same breath, gaining new ones. We might have been like every other high school or every other graduating class, but we each tell a different part of the same story. We do know high school still, a sweet memory, a memory of friendship we cherish, friendships that we formed and grew, a memory of trials and tribulations. Nonetheless, laughter echoes in the halls and classrooms the laughter we endlessly won't get enough of. Our dearest staff and teachers were part of this journey with us. With every year, they brought each and every one of us closer to this day. They too are eyes that experienced Roosevelt class of 23. Yes, high school will be a memory. It was a journey, a change with excitement, a challenge, and it was an experience lived. Experience is living and continues to live with us. It is our past, present, and future. We've experienced change, change that will forever come with confrontation. Experience we later use and share. Looking back, experience will make us relive a memory, become vivid. So bittersweet, we smile with tears of joyful. Um, the world will be hopefully faced with optimism, not fear embracing one another, knowing we've been through it. Although alone, we were together as our own eyes had their own experience telling the same story. Thank you. Now, let's welcome to the stage Ariane NRL Gontemur playing the cello and Christine Parker on the piano to perform Liebestraum number no. three by Franz Liszt. Liebestraum means love dream, sorry. Over the past four years, we have discovered what we love to do, and today we are sitting with our loved ones. Ariane and Christine would like to present this piece to every graduate because today we take one step closer to our dream.
That was beautiful. Next, let's give a warm welcome to one of our class of 2023 valedictorians, Yuna Kim. This year, this year, Roosevelt had 34 valedictorians and Yuna was voted by her peers to give this address. Hello, <laughs> I'm absolutely terrified right now. Um, contrary to popular belief, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, to the point that I spent the last few nights scouring the internet for quotes and poems to better bolster my speech, only to remember I don't even like poetry. So what was I even doing? <laughs> um, sitting back to finalize this and to finally put to rest, I was reminded of what people would inevitably tell me when I searched for their advice. All around me, they questioned, well, what do you really want to say? And I recognized that most of that pointless research that I did stemmed from the fear that I didn't really prepare for this speech, or as much as I should have. But should have is incredibly subjective. We use should have as a means to downplay our achievements, to seemingly imply that we are undeserving. So to counteract that, I wanted to take this moment to, see, uh, to really celebrate all that we have done, even in the crazy circumstances that have been thrown against us. Because if I've learned anything about me, about our class, as silly and frivolous as it may sound, it's really our adaptability in the face of change. Starting with the obvious, we've lived through shutting down our first year of high school to a global pandemic we thought would only last two weeks, a completely online sophomore year, a strange transitional period for junior year where we couldn't make out each other's faces and had COVID scares every other week, and then now maybe a semi-normal senior year. But even confronted with the obstacles of COVID, or just the growing pains of the seemingly unceasing stage as an awkward adolescent, because won't we ever be grown up enough? We have continued to participate and excel in sports. Groups like jazz band were able to compete at prestigious places, including Ellington. Our orchestra traveled to Washington, D.C. Our theater renewed our status as gold honor troupe at the state thespian competition. And our clubs, including DECA, qualified for and competed at national championships. <laughs> but even with all those feats that line our applications, uncertainty and doubt still linger. For years, it was all about, well, what, we can, what can we do to put on our applications? What more do we have to try for that college? And now that it's over, many of us are still searching for advice and guidance, myself included. I want to acknowledge that even with all that we achieved, accomplishment doesn't necessarily amount to the grades, the major profession we're choosing to pursue, or maybe even the schools we are attending. Because the contributions that go unnoticed are just as significant, whether that be personal battles that remain hidden to the untrained eye, or labor that is unfortunately left uncelebrated. It's, it's especially important to honor the people that are not frequently highlighted, who have always been sidelined when existing in a school, in a landscape that is the majority in every sense of that word. These are the same people that navigated an at times hostile environment, a seemingly flippant and apathetic admin and looming uncertainty. With their determination, they carved out a safe space, demanding and creating a wider sense of activism within the often lonely echo chamber of our school. These are the leaders behind groups like F Word, Womanism Club, BSU, GSA, API Culture Club, the newly founded Native American Club, and countless other diversity and support groups behind our departments. You did it on your own, with minimal support, with nothing but your tears and rage. You have pieced together the tatters of our shredded community and weaved together a stronger pattern. It's not our responsibility to fix the problems in a system that we never created, but thank you. Thank you for taking the massive, difficult step toward healing for us and the students to come. 
And sometimes we overlook that merely surviving is a feat to be celebrated. Beyond the certificates, qualifications, medallions, the biggest achievement of them all is us here today, moving on from high school, walking away intact. Even as we are excited to enter a new phase of our lives, perhaps with some lingering bittersweet sadness of leaving this place behind, I know that still many of us are tinged with guilt, regret perhaps of not doing enough, disappointment of not fulfilling all that we thought we could obtain. But I want to say it's no longer what, about what we should have done, but what we can do now. Some of us have chosen paths that we have planned from start to finish, while some of us have no idea where to begin. But high school, especially our high school experience, has shown us that there is no one through line to life. Looking back at the conversations we've held each other, I think there's peace within the knowledge that many of us are struggling. We're not alone. So long have we run, chasing an end in new, no sight. Now that we have crossed that finish line that has guided us the past 12 years, I feel a little lost. Where does that leave us now? We have achieved what we set out to do and appeased or maybe perhaps seemingly let down the judges that have overlooked us, whether that be our parents, friends, the GPA-focused environment, or even our own standards. So entwined within our own expectations, too often have we been unable to extract any threads of our identity to salvage. Where do those expectations end and where do we as individuals start? In a society that only congratulates us for what we can do with what we are aware of, we must now embrace the unknown, rediscover what our spark is, what keeps us moving forward. Who are we doing all this for? Now that we leave the familiar nest of high school, the only thing left is to find and fight for ourselves. It's no longer about who to please or to complete what gets us to the next place, but to discover our own course, completing tasks not to only strengthen our resumes, but for ourselves, to find joy within what we do. Nevertheless, congratulations are still in place. We've each done wonders, even with the many, many things we have accomplished, whether that be fighting internal struggles or tasks that come with gleaming plaques that we are proud to display, our harshest critics are sometimes our own selves. So I want to end with a statement we frequently share to others, but so seldom offer to ourselves. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of us. And most of all, we will make it through the years to come. Meet them head on like we've always done through adapting with determination and everlasting resilience. Cheers to us, class of 2023. Next, we would like to invite Principal Brewer to the stage. Though this is only her first year at Roosevelt, she has made a huge impact at our school. Please give a warm round of applause to thank Ms. Brewer for her hard work. Dear class of 2023, this is such a happy day. You have arrived at this moment, both because of all the support and opportunities you have been offered or possibly despite the odds and through sheer determination. Likely, it is some of both. We owe a huge thanks to both the community, your family, and our school members' teamwork to make this happen today. But I also want you to thank yourself. I want to thank, your, thank you each individually for your own part in this process. You alone will be the ones to take charge of your future. And I know you are capable and I have the utmost confidence that your persistence will lead you straight ahead in your future lives. Do you even remember who you were and what the world was like when you entered Roosevelt as a ninth grade student in the fall of 2019? The world didn't even anticipate the shifts and changes to come when you started your high school careers. Since that time at Roosevelt and in the world, society has been confronted with an extraordinary number of changes and challenges. 
This has created even greater numbers of emotions and struggles for you as a high school class. The fact that you are here shows great resilience. In your adult life, you will continue to have emotional moments, both good and bad. And at times, you will be facing challenge. The fortitude you have developed over this tumultuous time will serve you well in your lives to come. As an educator, I am grateful to be a part of this process. To watch from any vantage point, you all as students stepping into your future is a joy. You will, as everyone does, have trials, challenges, and tests ahead of you. However, you have been prepared to face difficulty and you know who is here for you when you need a safety net of love and support. These mentors or family members are a part of your individual story. You may need support at times in your lifetime and others around you will also need you to support them as well. Keeping and establishing a network of support to navigate challenges is an invaluable strategy of success. It is my hope that you will find this wherever or whenever you need it or provide it to others when you can. Doing this will help you to face what comes in your future and you should not have to do this alone. Remember, you are never alone as a Rough Rider alumni. I am honored to witness your graduation day today and I stand with your community and families to celebrate the next step in your lives. Farewell and be well, Rough Riders class of 2023. Seattle School Board Director Hampton Hampson. As principal of Roosevelt High School, I formally present and recommend for graduation the students of the graduating class of 2023 from Roosevelt High School. Each of these students have met all the graduation requirements and are deserving of all the honors, rights, and privileges pertained thereto. Do you accept? Thank you, Principal Brewer by the authority vested in me as school board director of Seattle Public Schools, I recognize and accept the 2023 graduates of Roosevelt High School and I, improve, and I approve the granting of their diplomas. Before I congratulate you, I would like, like to offer a few words. Many of the obstacles you will encounter in the years to come will be those of your own creation. So be open to paths you never imagined so that those obstacles might dissipate while you walk confidently on. On your journey, you'll seek knowledge and truth and truth gained from knowledge and experience and the notion of a just and right place to land to make your life and then something will shift in the world or in your life and you'll begin seeking again for a new just and right place to at least rest for a time as you may find yourself wary, maybe weary. 
This may happen once, it may happen a thousand times, but if there is one thing I could share to help you through these cycles of the life ahead, it is this. The world is made up of so much gray, not black and white, almost never black and white, but a saturated gray, the kind against which the brightest yellows and deepest burgundies and neon oranges burn bright like storm clouds snuggled against a setting sun. Like triumph from tragedy and the resilience you've all shown to get through the storms and joys of your childhood to this glorious day, the truest thing you'll learn is how many things can be true at the same time. How grotesque yet brilliant the world is, how humanity is both cruel and compassionate, how time stretches interminably on while flashing by before your eyes. Your eyes, within which is the very reflection of this same truth, the same dichotomy. You too are full of contradictions, horrors and genius, beauty and shame, love and hate, strength born of trauma. You, each and every one of you, is truth, worthy of love and acceptance for all the parts of you, changing and static, brilliant and dull. If no one has told you this yet, please take this gift now. You are enough, just as you are, just as you will be, good days and bad, good years and bad. You are the truth you seek and you needn't be perfect or even good. Just promise yourself acceptance every day you can muster it and pass it around like so much confetti. And with that, I celebrate you, congratulations. We will now have our four orators come forward to read the recipients' names for the conferring of their diplomas. Sophia Zanara Amelia Preti. Abdul Hassan Youssef. Ocean Achiwara. Nicholas Bertman Abrams. Tyler Adams. Cove West Hogan Allen. Megan Joe Alt. Isabella Piedad Antonio. Fartoon Jimale Abdullahi. Samson Abraham. Alisa Anna Alanichava. 
Matthew Abdomalek. Benjamin Thomas Allen. Luis Alvarez Lobo. Madeline Grace Askevold. Ansel Anaker. Nico Akina Allen. Adam James Bars. Michael Beavers. Elliot Jacob Bowan. Brandon Christian Bailey. Ethan Beck. Owen Carter Beardsey Lewis. Owen Frank Ames. Jacob William Breedlove. Connor J. Bosky. Then you get to go. Max Boyd. Ariel Burns. David Barrera the third. Michaela Baker Curtis. Adeline Rose Barash. Holly Vale Bruce. Bergen Duffy Brown. Maxime Noe Borno. Charlo Josephine Born. Brixton Edwin Beaumont. Gemma Jenner Bullard. Asher Dylan Belsberg. Eric Wally Bakken. Lon Claire Beresford. Andre Thomas Boychuk. Owen Ramsey Begley Collier. Kayla Marie Bourgeois. Graham Mitchell Benson. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do his too. <clears throat> Henry Charles Burton Waymeyer. Finian Kennedy Bennett. Bunsock Tashi Bartso. Maxford Jeffrey Brown. Lily Julian Barto. Andrew Thomas Brown. Brody Scott Belima. William Carl Biorseth. Mark Leon Barcia. Matilda Abigail Bryson Bean. Gustav Gabriel Birch. That's good, that's what I'm doing. Genevieve Willow Cameron. Charlotte Festa Barnes. Anna Reed Callender. Audrey Genevieve Bennett. Zoe Mira Kane. Madison Ann Benani. Oliver Mitsuo Bachter. I sure can. Josephine Sarah Burrell. Finn Emil Brixey. Ava Noelani Boomstead. Amelia Ivy Cole. 
Callie Joy Boomba. Naomi Catherine Cole. Juliet Avril Bornet. Karen Elizabeth Choi. Maxwell Crowther. Bella Diane Craig. Faith Michael Dunn. Ashton Scott Carls. Mia Crump. Beckett Liam Crawford. Orion Zion Kane. Connor E. Cheng. Talia Ann Cruz. Ian David Morrill Crowner. Lucille Godsell Dunn. Joseph Alexander Claire the Fourth. Tyler Dempsey. Marina Jane Caputo. Venomin Drosian. Helena Marie Dahl. Kieran Rohan Daka. Garrett James Dowden. Louis Saeed Dracobli Helsel. Kieran Asher de Jacobson. Wilbur Frederick Eastup. Hayden Freeman Dixon. Gabriel Shilin Edelman. Charlie Dobson Cohen. Congrats on the whole month. Ian James Eggleston. Emma Dominguez Rueda. Francesca Sangali SB. Gabrielle Demony. Madeline Rose Fanning. Edward Joseph Doherty. Isaac Henry Fanning. Sasha Doran. Chagall Rose Gelfand. Emin Cordeleo Doxy. Namya Gupta. Cole Howard Fung. Hazel Lilius Graham. Lauren Fishkin. Andrew Hallstren. Carla Fox. Jonas Hilloff. Molly Ann Graham. William Spencer Felt. Natalia Garcia Bompadre. Tanner James Gauck. Giovanna Colleen Gallagher. Todd Robert Gillis. Thomas West Garvey. Will Gould. Stephanie Garcia Furman. Joshua Garcia. Cicely Marie Griswold. Jason Harris Gerke. Nora Louise Gibson. Nora Janet Gilmore. Bess Marie Hooper. 
Arnold Gonzalez. Ava Ellen Hansen. Emmy Marie Garza. Rima Nicole Hayek. Lucinda Suzanne Guthrie. Olivia Ryan Harper. Marie Christine Heller. Kasdan Rose Hamel. Jaden Isabella Hernandez. Ella Marie Hunergarth. Nicholas Wesley Henry. Burke Havernick. Alexander Tate Thomas Hughes. Noah Hayden. Joseph Nathaniel Hubner. John McAllister Hayes. Sounds better too. Josiah Bruce Hested. Yeah. Henry William Harmon. Yeah. Taylor Wendell Huff. Griffin Rolf Hearn. Nora Chain Haikimian. Elizabeth Rose Howard. Yasmin Nora Hentomi. Luca Hamilton. Sasha Jordan Rebecca Hynoski. Lucille Louise Haugen. Lucas Horvat. Emma Riley Doe Hogan. Jack Eric Hillstrom. Julia Karen Holt. Brandon Miles Johnson. Jaden Johnson. Danny Juan. Ivan Christopher Inslee. Richard James. Colin Ripley Johnston. Sophia Lillian Jordan. Waylon Brandon Jorman. <laughs> Catherine Elise Cuts. Camden Jeregi. Delaney Allison Creefall. Faith Jung. Bowden Francis Kaminsky Willard. Samuel Frederick Keith. King Kamimura. Maxfield Perry Prescott Kinan. Lucy Elizabeth Mertz. Bradley Glenn Wing Chi Kalmar. Gavino Gabriel Lucero. Christian Lassiter. Hannah Lim. Jin Spencer Liu. Isaiah Chehun Lee. Mark Theodore Lecca. Sabrina Lee. Drew Scott Lofton. <laughs> Sophia Jane McDougall. Nathan Ford Leland. Luke Michael Charles McHugh.
Julian Bernard Lowenhurst. Aiden Andrew Miller. Samuel Lynn. Kieran Otis Murray. Kevin Wen Yi Liu. Evan David Mazur. Catherine Ella Lindbergh. Felix Asher Mollett Collins. Ilana Wallens Lawrence. Tate Michael Miller. Rowan Lee. Emma Louise McCook. Aya Blue Mori. Michael Dean Maher. Abukar Abdikadir Muhammad. Nicole Lucia Moran. Levi Clemens Marzinski. Maya Ward Magnuson. Zakaria Ahmed Marachi. Amelie Rose McGowan. Jacob David Martin. No? Hannah Lynn McMullen. Luke Britton Matthews. Victoria Elena Makabu. Anna Menti. Jacob Thomas Nowak. Gabrielle Morgan. Oliver James Nairn. Shreya Murti. Savannah Louise Newell. Elizabeth Jane Monahan. Camilla Marie Ann Oberg. Abdullah Ayadinser. Nathan Flanagan Orazda. Daniel Pavlovich Nikitin. Emmett Michael Olson. Edward Hale Nida. Haley Elizabeth Orr. Benjamin Elliot Norson. Shira Bet Pinkler. Millard Hoon Duck Nguyen. Roman Jacob Pendolini. Grant Daniel Olison. Reese Loki Peterson. Liana Chayong Owen. Jordan Avery Pat. Anatoly Planus Nikis. Olivia Jane Putz. Aaron Naomi Powers. Finn Cunahan. Palmer. Julia Isabel Villarreal Puti. Quincy Swanberg Purcell. Lex Elizabeth Pesimer. Bailey Lillian Pollock. 
Camille Isabel Pape. Veto. Poppy. Poppy. Cause Mito Poppy. Lilia Purse. Maggie Davina Popovich. Carlota Pierpaoli. Moises Perez. Nolan Thomas Pistler. Alexander Charles Pistler. Sydney Kate Raisa. Elliot Hughes Rose. Morgan Lynn Rasa. Samuel Benjamin Ross. Madeline Nicole Reed. Simone Trinity Robinson. Chloe Anna Riggler Gree. Eliana Marie Roden. Maxwell Timothy Ryan. Amelia Scout Roller. Gunner John Rindall. Dia Reddy. Dominic James Root. Camilla Victoria Ricardo. Bennett Walter Rosenberg. Okay. Maite Simon. Maya Alexandria Schwan. Jalia Jenny Sherman. Ryan Steven Shapiro. Marissa Jean Sexsmith. Oliver Edward Stables. Jordan Eve Shapiro. Dylan Bryn Seneschal. Mia Annabella Swanson. Gratian Sojourner Scoma. Andrew James Stewart. <laughs> Lucas Andrew Schultz. Linus Solis Skukas. Yoshi William Stroh. Ethan Scott. Ripley John Silas. Justin Nathan Souter. Bridget Sogaby. David Beck Sweeney. Samantha Faye Torres. Thomas Alfred Strauss. Francis Boda Thompson. Marco Statton. Maya Tamura. Hugh Alexander Switzer. Ava Mieko Valier. Rio del Sol. Ava Ro Vermilia. Belisaria Ava Storacci. Yoshi Brian Takino. Kayla Jade Taft. Natalie Alexandria White. <laughs> Owen Robertson Thomas. 
Gabriella Christine Welsell. Jinshun Wong. Eli David Wolf. James Calder Tillengast. Avery Michelle Wells. Lucas Quilcine Taylor. Alice Pearl Weaver. Maxime Antoine Timmermans Rogozin. Genevieve Grace Welsh. Sierra Jean Uren. Alyssa May White. Caleb Harrison Urban. Ellie Louise White. Max Weiss. Isabel Juan. Logan William Wright. Lance Johan Nokon Wilson. Thomas Wu. Nico Waldron. Romaine Mela Wells. Zachary Shao Wu. Ella Claire Wade. Ryan Alexander Yip. I'll do and then switch. James Andrew Washburn. Cindy Zuo. Jack Alexander Wilson. Abby Claire W. Wolf. Jack Minor Ward. Lila Mary Zummers. Cole Michael Wasowich. Kate Niwa. Elliot Jonas Parsons. Abraham Fizahihe. Luke West. Amy Niwa. Gabrielle Macaris Smith. Nicholas Shejin Chang. <laughs> Stephanie Jean Young. CJ Polachek. Yuna Kim. I remember your name. Nagon Thuknath. The cock. Avery Gray Bloom. There's a grace. Eden Svetkov. Britta Grace Rendall. Christine Elizabeth Parker. Arian Anero Gantamer. <laughs> Eli Hammerman D'Amico. <laughs> Lucas Schubert. <laughs> Nicholas Garcia Bompadre. Bailey Grace Port. Zoe Helene Millard. Kira Elizabeth Lease.
I have just a few important reminders. Uh, as we're now nearing the conclusion of the ceremony, just a heads up when we're done, family and friends, please exit through the back doors and meet your class of 23 grad in the West Plaza by the International Fountain. It's important to clear the stadium quickly as the next community entering for their ceremony will need to get through. And the International Fountain Space is an excellent place for pictures and celebratory gathering spaces. And now, will the Roosevelt High School graduating class of 2023 please stand? The turning of the tassels from right to left represents the moment that you move from a student to a graduate. I am thrilled to be here tonight to welcome you to an alumna of more than 100 years of graduates at Roosevelt High School, class of 23. Please turn your tassels. And as you are now graduates, please turn and face your audience. Face your audience. alumni and community members it is with great pleasure that I present to you the Roosevelt High School graduating class of 2023 you may now toss the cap hey! 